The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Hey everyone, how are you doing? It is me, your friend, Sir Tooney Van Dukes, and I am glad we had this opportunity to get together for another video for Clown Week. Yes, it is day six of Clown Week. And today I thought I would talk about parades and props for clowns. So the parade has always been one of my more favorite activities to do uh, as a clown. And I have a group of friends who have done a variety of parades together. Our biggest group parade is always the 4th of July parade. But we also have done Memorial Day and Halloween and uh, the day after Thanksgiving, St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, we've done a variety of holiday parades. I've gotten together with clowns and other groups to do the Cherry Blossom Parade in D.C. Uh, yeah, just a lot of parades. It seems like everyone has a time and a reason to have a parade. So, you know... If you're a celebrity, you're the homecoming king or queen, or you're Miss America, you might drive through a parade in the back of a convertible doing your Miss America wave to the spectators. But I think clowns can do better than just wave in a parade. So yeah, what should a clown do in a parade? that is befitting of our clown character and will be entertaining to the audience. So it's just, they're not just seeing our cool makeup and costumes, but we have something to offer to entertain them. We aren't a high school marching band with uh, playing songs and instruments. We aren't a, uh, carrying a big helium balloon that they can all ooh and I. Oh, we love that character up there. Uh, we're probably not building these gorgeous floats for the Rose Bowl Parade. Yeah, so what would a clown do in a parade? Well, I think a clown does a sight gag or a gimmick. And uh, I always say a clown should think big, think something visible that will uh, the audience can see from 20 feet away. Ah, excuse me. So, yeah, you, uh, you're walking down the parade route. There's people on this side. There's people on that side. And you can go up to the people on this side and sort of talk to, like, 20, 30 people in a group and... Uh, show them your your whatever you brought along for the parade. A clown will often have something that is a sight gag or a gimmick. And my favorite things, pack small and play big. So I'm looking for something that's easy to store in my house that will uh, fit in my car is light to carry through a parade route if the, especially if that parade is like four miles long i don't want to carry a 50 pound prop for that distance um, but i want it to be big and visible and i'm always on the lookout for fun stuff at the store so yeah uh they had these at uh i think they were like at toys r us years ago uh I have I, smaller ones that were came from a dollar store, but this was, I, yeah, it's a piggy bank. It's got a slot here, but it is a crayon. Um, I know a clown group that did, like, a color guard. So each clown had a different color crayon, and they were guarding their crayons. Yeah, that's just a play on word for clowns. 
because a proper color guard is dealing with the American flag. But yeah, you have a bunch of colors. You could do something about a color guard. So what do clowns do in parades? Uh, there are some classic routines that I've seen lots of clowns do. One is shine your shoes. You you go up to people. This is a little bit smaller, uh, more of a smaller crowd than a huge parade because you can't do everyone. But it's like you go up to people. Hey, would you like me to shine your shoe? And they say, sure, why not? Let you can shine my shoe. And you're carrying a flashlight and you shine the flashlight on their shoes. And there you go. I shined my flashlight on your shoes. Uh, there's another prop that you're walking around with a tray that looks like it has a bunch of milkshakes on it. And you ask people if they would like a free shake. And they're thinking, oh, you have milkshakes. Why not? I'll take a free shake. And, but no, you're not offering these. You're going to shake their hands or you're just going to shake your body. Shake your booty. Shake, shake, shake. Yeah, you could do whatever you want. Yeah you're doing it for free you're just shaking one way or another uh, I remember seeing clowns do this in parades uh, they, they, they used to like say save the whales well one of the clowns changed it up to shave the whale so he had made a giant big razor prop that was yay big and it's like the head of it was the head of a razor and the stick he was holding and he had a sign that said shave the whales uh there's another one about uh like instead of world peace it's world peas so yeah uh, think about clowns in misinterpretation i think i mentioned this the other day but we did uh for the fourth of july we changed it to the fork of July yeah we had these giant forks that we made you can sometimes find a decorative fork that is yay big that like you hang on a wall and you can do that in the parade like I have a sign saying happy fork of July uh, for a Christmas themed parade we did reindeer in training I had found some stuffed animal reindeers and we had taken uh, a PVC pipes and made a sort of ladder structure that uh, would stick out and there were crossbars and we used a fishing line to suspend the stuffed reindeer in the openings in the uh, PVC pipe so I had two reindeer you know, my friend had two reindeer and the PVC pipe would, uh, we had it worked out that it would fit on a, the handlebars of a kick scooter. So we uh, had them on the kick scooter and we had uh, made a sign uh, that sort of like those service dogs, please do not touch, dog in training or whatnot that said reindeer in training. And we were going around and because the reindeer were four feet off the three, I three feet off the ground because they were on the handlebar of our kick uh, scooter on the PVC that was straight out and we were just sort of zigzagging our scooters and it sort of looked like the reindeer were flying so that was a fun Christmassy parade we had done another year where we had just wrapped a bunch of empty boxes with wrapping paper and then put a hole through the center of each box with a string on it so we'd have this tall pile of boxes all wrapped as presents and like be trying to carry around and say, yeah, I finished all my Christmas shopping. And uh, because there's like a string in it that we could tip the box and they would sort of fall over slightly but the string kept them from falling and hitting the ground. So it's like, you, it's like I got it, I got it, and oh no I don't. And, Yeah, so just just fun stuff like that. Uh, so yep, it's not a full-blown skit, but it is. 
doing something goofy and that will play well to the audience. I'm always on the lookout for fun stuff, so this was... This was part of a Halloween costume. It looks like a giant slice of pepperoni pizza, and... I love, like, the, the big food props where you just sort of tell people, hey, my doctor said I have to cut back on pizza, so I'm only allowed to have two slices a day. Can you believe that? Just two small slices of pizza a day. Yeah, this isn't a small slice of pizza. And like, this is another Halloween costume, but it looks like a hot dog. So yeah, just another oversized food product. And I just sort of stuffed whatever inside it to help it give the shape. And it, people don't notice the fact that it's got the holes in it or whatnot. It just looks like a giant hot dog. And you're again, you're, you're just doing something goofy with it. Uh, maybe you're uh, singing uh, like the, the a Wiener Mobile type uh, Oscar Mayer song or something. Oh, I wish I were an Oscar Mayer wiener. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Yeah, whatever that's however that song goes. Yeah, just doing fun stuff. And these are Halloween pro or costumes, so you don't have to actually make or something. I I know like people do take like the uh, the upholstery foam and paint it in different colors. And I've seen uh, like a giant Polaroid camera made out of. Uh, upholstery foam so it's nice and lightweight but it's big and colorful and like you could be like the press photographer taking everyone's picture on the parade uh, if you have a clown alley you could do a kazoo band in a parade where you uh, you pick three or four easy to remember songs everyone has their kazoo and you could you could do the marching band routines like you know like the the school marching band that they don't just march forward march 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 they do like zigzag and like one person stops and they pass them or yeah just do whatever depending how big your clown alley is how many people you have uh if you could all coordinate costumes or at least colors so like you look like a cohesive band that is all the better so yeah everyone can buy their uh, a baseball jersey with their name on it. I got these off of um, Team Sport, I think. There's a logo, Team Logo. I know, some website that just had uh, that makes sells a bunch of school uh, team uniforms, and you can customize them. And you don't have to buy a dozen. So I have. The Sertuni Van Dukes shirt. I have a Balloons by Mike shirt. I have a Technicolor Mike B shirt. Yeah, just a bunch of baseball jerseys because they're colorful and it's great that it has my name on it. Uh, if you are a talented entertainer, maybe you have some circus skills. Maybe you could go through the parade route juggling some clubs. Uh, just doing all your juggling tricks while your parade is going along. Uh, our, our alley, when we had people on stilts, the stilt walkers were always people's favorite. And uh, for st like stilts, you have... Uh, you put pant legs covering the stilt, so like your, your pant legs are six feet long. So you have your legs and then the, the stilts below it, and you put a big pair of shoes on the bottom. You don't have to put the shoes, but that just sort of completes the look. And yeah, you can uh, do fun stuff on stilts. You could have like an umbrella or do like a tightrope walk on stilts, like you're trying to keep your balance. Maybe you want to ride a unicycle. That was like my thing when I was starting clowning. I wanted to learn to ride a unicycle. And what I discovered was parades go, stop, go, stop, go, stop, go. Uh, you never know if the street is uphill, downhill, potholes or whatnot. So yeah, my, my unicycle skills never quite got good enough for me to trust myself on the unicycle in a parade. 
But that's just something a clown could do. Uh, the, one of the last parades our clown alley did, uh, several members brought buckets of bubble solution, and we had a wagon. There was a car in our group that was uh, pulling, so the, the car was pulling the wagon with the bubble solution. So we could go up with our bubble wands, stick the uh, sticks in the bubble mix, pull them out, and make the huge bubbles. Uh, we knew that was a slower moving parade, so there would be a lot of time where the uh, groups in front of us were entertaining at the grandstand, and we would just be there in front of the same audience, so we could just start making these huge bubbles and uh, letting them float off to the side. The, the important things with parades are know the rules and remember safety. A lot of organizations do not want kids running into the street, so they say no throwing out candy. If you're doing bubbles, yeah, just make sure that the kids aren't running into the street trying to pop the bubbles, uh, that you're just doing it for the visual effects. So yeah, I love a parade and uh, if you go to COAI, World Class Association, the Mid-Atlantic Clown, the Southeast Clown, the Texas Clown, uh, they all have conventions and they have a parade ability competition. And so yeah, you can check out, I'm sure, old episode, uh, not, episodes, uh, issues of the COAI magazine, the World Clown Association magazine. Look at the photos of the competition winners. There's probably pictures of the parade ability competition. Remember, use your same logic of thinking like a clown for writing a skit. What would a clown do? I, I was thinking, uh, there's parts of the country where fly fishing is a popular activity. Well, there's two words to that fly and fishing. So it's like you're fishing for things that fly. You're fishing from something that is flying. Uh, you're trying to catch your flight. Uh, so yeah, there's play on words. Uh, make a huge oversized fishing pole out of like pool noodles in PVC pipe. Hang a... Uh, model airplane off the end of it and you're fishing with something that flies yeah just yeah crazy crazy misinterpretation of stuff is thinking like a clown and that is how you come up with a great parade ability item I guess oh the one thing I didn't say you could bring like a puppet and do have your puppet with you in the parade yeah just something that is more than just you waving your hand. Uh, I think I mentioned the bee collection uh, the other day. That uh, I know clowns have, there's a lot of suitcase gags or whatnots where the suitcase will say, would you like to see my whatever? And it would be, would you like to see my bee collection? And maybe there's like honeycomb or... Uh, uh, beehive type look to the out of the case or you're wearing a beekeeper costume but you open up the suitcase and lo and behold they're just the letter B uh, there's a thing about Domino's pizza you take you go to Domino's you get a pizza box and you put a fake pizza covered with the Domino's those little blocks and you so, see my Domino's pizza so it's not your cool pepperoni. I can I get I could do that. Uh, put some oversized Domino's on this slice of pizza, and it's suddenly a Domino's pizza instead of a pepperoni pizza. Yeah, so use your creativity and come up with something fun to do at the parade. So yep, yeah, this is Sir Tony Van Dukes. Continuing our International Clown Week celebration with a different video all week. Yeah, so this is the sixth or seventh video I've done this week. Yeah, check out my channel, see my other videos. Thanks for watching. And as clowns like to say, bump a nose. That's our way of uh, sort of saying we'll see you later. Thanks for watching.